is for decline of the Mughals. Aurangzeb's policies Jagirdari crisis Annexation of Deccan and Marathas Agrarian crisis Battle of Karnal Aurangzeb's policies Aurangzeb discriminated against sections of the nobles and officials on the basis of religion, which led to wide-scale resentment among the nobility. Aurangzeb's successors and their nobles were mere shadows of their predecessors and were unable to set right the drawbacks of Aurangzeb's legacy. Jagirdari Crisis The nobles in the Mughal Empire were the core state officials. They were ranked as mansab. Each holder of a mansab, called mansabdar, was paid in assignments of land revenue or jagir. In turn, they had to maintain a requisite contingent of troopers. These troopers were paid and maintained out of the revenue of the jagir. They formed the base of the mansabdar's power and assisted him in the collection of land revenue. The availability of jagirs and the ability of the mansabdars to collect revenue from them thus became two crucial prerequisites for the effective working of the system. Mughal decline can be seen in the failure towards the end of Aurangzeb's reign to maintain the system of the mansabdar jagirdar. Annexation of Deccan and Marathas the absorption of the Marathas and the Deccan nobles into the Mughal nobility led to the subsequent shortage of Jagir. The sudden increase in the number of nobles caused due to the expansion of the empire into the Deccan and Maratha territory created a crisis in the functioning of the Jagir system. The nobles competed for better Jagir, which were increasingly becoming rare due to the influx of nobles from the south. The logical consequence was the erosion of the political structure, agrarian crisis. In the 18th century, with the decline of the Mughal authority and with the pressure on Jagirs, agricultural economy began to face a crisis. This led to peasant revolts. Mansabdars failed to follow a long-term policy of agricultural development. As the burden on the peasantry increased, peasants protested against the excessive exploitation. Entire villages were left deserted due to the large-scale migration of peasants to towns or other villages. Very often the peasants protested against the state by refusing to pay the revenue and were up in arms against the Mughals. Battle of Karnal in 1739, Nadir Shah invaded India and fought against Muhammad Shah at Karnal. Nadir led an army of about 55,000 troops and Muhammad had only about 15,000, but both sides had large numbers of non-combatants. Divided nobles prevented a decisive Mughal stand until Nadir reached Karnal. The emperor was besieged in his entrenched camp. Nadir marched to Delhi and massacred its inhabitants. He plundered Delhi and took with him the famous peacock throne of Shah Jahan and the Kohinoor diamond. The Mughal empire never recovered from this blow.